And we've got the Marzipano today on Walking the Candy Aisle. <laughs> hey guys, Jeff here with a review for you of Ryland's Marzipano. Marza, Marzipano. Ryland's, Ryland's chocolate. I know I don't I don't like to go too deep into the house brands, but this is um, I'm pretty sure that Ryland's is the Tesco is one or maybe one of the Tesco house brands. Um, but yeah, Ryland's chocolate. That's okay. Tesco is a pretty big, well-known grocery chain that uh, is all over Europe. So why not do the marzipano? Um, my parents actually were just recently in. Um, they were in Vienna, and they were in Czech, and then they were in uh, Portugal, I think. Uh, anyway, they while they were over there, they uh, picked up a couple of chocolates for me. So I'm going to be doing a few reviews of some uh, interesting ones that I am not familiar with. So um, might as well give this one a shot. And also, it's marzipano, so I'm assuming that means marzipan. <laughs> they have almonds on the packaging, so probably it's marzipan, right? Chocolate and marzipan. It's got a lot of writing in here. A lot of, a lot of text in a couple different languages. None of them seem to be English. Uh, like, but look here. Okay, so sorry. Can we read this? This is. It's tough to read with this way. This is. Okay, Barton Arca, Arcapanowo. I'm gonna guess that's a bar. Of. Uh, uh, I wonder if that's like an almond bar, right? That would make sense, like an Arashid, maybe, sort of, right? And then uh, Marza, this is, I think this is the Polish line, by the way. Uh, marzipan with chocolate. Come on, right? Guys, we can we can figure this out. <laughs> it's a chocolate, look, it's a chocolate marzipan bar, and it's big. Man, that's big, right? It's I can feel, it's like, it feels really thick. And if it's actually a thick, big bar of marzipan, like... Like, if this is really full of marzipan, that's kind of insane, right? Maybe it's like a marzipan cream or like marzipan mixed with something. That's a pretty big chocolate bar, especially if it's marzipan. Okay, let's give it a shot. I've not never been a massive marzipan fan, but this is like a like a very rich smelling milk chocolate. It sure looks milk, but uh, it smells very um, rich, I guess. Ooh. Yep. Marzipan, all right. Well, it's like a loose marzipan. You know, I certainly don't go out of my way to get marzipan. I don't hate it or anything, but... It's never been something that's really drawn me in. I like the fact that you can take it and kind of sculpt things out of it. I always found that kind of cute. Back before, like, you know, the Cake Boss days, before when, like, you would go to the store and they would make cute little characters out of, out of marzipan. I would see that at least sometimes, I don't know, around Toronto growing up. Maybe that was just where I lived. Um, they would make cute little characters out of marzipan and they would put them on top of cakes and, and pastries and stuff in the, in the bakeries. Nowadays you go there and it's all like rolled fondant and like they've got really like, really like high end specialized sort of tools and it's not always even like edible. Whereas at least in the olden days when they had marzipan, they could, you could, you know, you could make something out of it, really, and then it was uh, edible. Still not my favorite. <laughs> I seem to remember getting marzipan on top of, like, a birthday cake when I was a kid one time and being, like, not and not wanting to eat it, and then I feel like my parents forced me to eat it, <laughs> and I was not happy about that. <laughs> uh, anyway, to this bar, um, it's a whole lot of marzipan. The chocolate is, like, minimal. The chocolate, it can't compare to the flavor of the marzipan. So the marzipan is just like the dominant flavor here. Chocolate's just sort of containing it, right? Um, this is one of those things where if you like marzipan, this is probably fine. I don't think Ryland's is like 
you know, super high end or anything. In fact, it's probably pretty low end. It's a Tesco house brand chocolate company, right? So I would suggest low to mid, mid end, but they do make a number of different kinds of bars. So that at least says that they're not like a one trick pony. Like, and frankly, like why does, I don't know why Tesco needs its own house brand. I, I guess just they might as well for money, but um, you know, Obviously, you can go and get your dairy milk. You can get your Cadbury products. You can get your Mars products. You can get your Nestle products there. So, you know, <laughs> it's a little out of left field for my money, but I, I, I don't know. I don't honestly interact with that brand very often. So what can I tell you? Um, for this bar itself, eh, are you a Marzipan fan? Yes? Great. Go try this. Are you not a Marzipan fan? No? Stay away. Um, I've eaten about half of this chocolate bar. I'm not going to eat any more. I'm done. That's about my fill of marzipan. I don't need any more marzipan for another, ooh, maybe year or so. I think I'm about done with it. So, walking to candy, I was going to rate the Ryland's Marzipano, which I love that name. It sounds like Italian to me, but obviously I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's, I don't know how to, I don't know what a Polish accent sounds like. Um, marzipano. I don't know. I'm going to rate it. Uh, I'm going to rate it a three out of five, kind of a low three for me, maybe even a two almost, because it's just like, yeah, you know, <laughs> just sigh. Oh, sigh, marzipan. I'm glad I got to try this. I don't need to eat it ever again. That's my take. Let me know what you think about marzipan in the comments below, and um, let me know if you've had this bar before. Or if you have any impressions about the Ryland's line of chocolates. Yeah. Not impressed so far, Tesco. <laughs> Maybe you can do better next time. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Click the links you see on the screen. I'll talk to you next time. So long.